Welcome back everyone for the next part of Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey with us. As I already said in the last part, in today's part we're also going to do a few quests and see how it goes. And as you can probably see from the main screen, he's done. <laughs> he's finally done. So there you are boy, perfect timing, I just finished forging the weapon for you. Here you go. So what did I get? Hard horn spear. Great. One of my best work, if I do say so myself. I might ask you to fetch some materials for me if I run out again. So don't fail me, boy. Oh god. You have other missions? Wait a second, need to see that right now. Well, well, well. You again. How's that weapon treating you? Not bad, huh? But I got an idea for an even more powerful weapon this time around. Fingers, I need even more materials, okay. A knee heal and Anubis stone. Sure, I'm, I can try to find them. Not really sure how to create a knee heal though. Might need to look that up again, but well. But finally, now that I have that weapon, together with the pest control weapon that I got from the Delphinos. Oh yeah, Delphinos. I should probably explain how to get that weapon. You need to hunt, I think, seven or eight of those Futama guys, those invisible demons over there, which uh, even though even though they tend to show up rather quickly if you really hunt for them, there's always the risk that another white rider shows up and uh, destroys my party. Which actually happened once. And <laughs> my demons still aren't able to survive his attacks somehow. He still hits like a truck. Anyways, after getting those items from those guys, you need to head over to the 8th floor, hunt a few piscadas with bite the dust, and then you can create the weapon. Now then, with both the weapon, the spear and the, the gun, I should be able to finish up the quest in the Lofinos now, right? Ah, oh, by the way, somebody told me already that I'm able to do both quests in order to see a special cutscene. So let's see what this is all about. Oh, it's you, kid. Did you get the pest croak? Yes, actually I did. Hmm, so this is the pest croak. Nice work, kid. That cresting is good as dead. Now take your reward. Come on. No need to be modest here. Thank you very much. Find a sickle pa called Pascro. Oh wait, it's not a gun, it's actually a sickle thing. You received Kutlak Vest. Great. Alright, I'm going down the path in the back to defeat him. With my victory, the curtain will finally close to the sad drama. Then the world of black chaos filled with disease will begin. Uh-huh, sure. So, and Kresnik, did you get the spear? Yes, of course, I had to specifically craft this thing, okay? So you better take good care of it. So this is the spear. At last, I can defeat Kutlak. I thank you, as promised, a reward. The X mission, Hattori's spear needs, uh, needed, has been completed. You received a bell bog west. The depths of this land. There shall be our dual ground, and this time I shall strike down the black chaos. Ah, okay. So I was supposed to walk around here somewhere in order to see the fight. So let's see if I can find it. Oh, okay. Okay, I found it. The demons are staring each other down. How many times have we two met in this battle? No matter. On this day, I shall defeat you at last. <laughs> You're persistent. I would say that for you, but I think I'm about ready to claim your life. Now die. Okay. Your blow struck truth, but I shall not lose. <laughs> They're actually fighting. Oh yeah, not bad. I forgot to read. Incredible. Gah! This funk! 
At this rate, it will never end. I will let you off for now. Ah, so basically they have the same strength? As shall I. Just as I have grown in strength, so it seems have you. Uh, what's odd is odd, uh, or rather, what's done is done. May our next meeting be our last. The demon left. Well, that was a weird encounter. I wonder though, what happened if I only gave them one of the weapon? Would the one who received the weapon win? And the other one, which I didn't do, would technically lose? That could have happened, right? Huh. Anyways, off we go to the next quest. Oh, by the way, by the way, I did find a very special former while I was uh, walking around the area in order to find stuff, and uh, that happened when I wasn't recording, so I have a little clip prepared. Yes, I have a little clip prepared of the location where I was uh, able to find it. It's going to show up right here, really close, really quickly. And um, yeah, this was a special farmer that I was able to reach very early on the, in the cruise sector. But I forgot about it because Mastema sent me home after we found him. Which means I completely forgot about the fact that I didn't really explore the normal area before changing the face shifter to the angel sector and then the demon sector. So in order to reach this uh, this new or rather this extra optional farmer, you just need to return it to normal, walk all the way to the end, and over there you find the corpse and that farmer. Really important for the two quests, don't forget to do that. Now then. You still got high quality farmers on here, don't you? That's right, you can't trick me. Yeah, yeah, just take it and do your thing. Ah yes, I wonder what kind of upgrade it's going to be though. If it was that hidden, that's probably nothing special, but still, it's nice to have. So. And. Alright. I'm gonna need to bore your demonica for a bit. The unlock feature. Oh, wait, what? That was unlock? Unlock E? Did I even have D yet? And now that you all <laughs> the unlock feature supports more yeah, oh my god. More types of door. You will be able to unlock doors that were previously barren. As before, pay close attention. Ah okay. Okay, so uh maybe those E gates and E doors are optional <laughs> because uh, the E gate search thing was from an EX mission and this E unlock thing was from a random farmer that you didn't really need to pick up so far. But oh well, it's good to have, right? It's good to have. Okay, in order to create a heal, you need to get a tech Karite 2, Genma Spear and Enigma Clay. And those uh, enemies, to get those uh, farmers, are actually invisible enemies around Karina. Which is kind of handy, right? It is kind of handy. Now the Anubis Stone, on the other hand, is a bit more tricky to find. Since uh, I need to find Anubis guys in Eridanus. And I think so far I only was able to encounter one of them. Yeah? One of them? So uh, this is going to take a while. By the way, since I'm already in Eridanus in order to find Anubis Stone, why aren't I giving the last trial of the Divas a try, right? Even though, well, it might not be the last one since I still see a door over there. But oh well, right? Oh well. I am Shikokuten, one of the pillars of the four Divas, right? Four. There might be another one. We four Divas have come in response to your restoration of a world full of energy. Though two has uh, has come to this land prepared for death. If thou dost desire power to reinforce thy resolve, I am willing to train thee. Our stance is the same. If it by thy wish, I would uh, I would be only too happy to train thee. Okay, thou must fight and defeat me, son of man. But this is no ordinary battle. There are conditions. 
Life of the Demon will cost uh, someone must not surpass 300. To speak plainly, thy maximum HP only those with low HP may enter this battle. Ooh. Ah, uh, sure. Wait, do I even. Wait, do I even have an enemy or a. Oh no! Oh no! No! They're all over 300. They're all over 300. Wait, I can. Yeah, but I'm not going to. This is stupid! <laughs> this is actually kind of stupid! Well, okay then, uh, I guess. Uh... Can I return you? Should be able to return you, right? Yeah. There we go. So, uh, seems like. <laughs> seems like this fight is going to be a little bit ridiculous, don't you think? Also, I'm going to save one more time, just in case, since I'm not allowed to swap demons. That pretty much means there's a high chance I need to do this alone. Since the mod guy is probably not able to help. Now, let's go. Demon surpasses. Uh, if none of the demons surpass the maximum HP of 300. Now, let the battle begin. Oh, yeah. So, do I have your weakness? Would be nice if I had your weakness. I'm going to buff up my agility. Okay, he's kind of strong. Still need to buff up my agility, though. As long as I have agility, it should be fine. Number three. There we go. So I'm going to eat a beat. You can use normal hit now. Okay. Yeah. My modman isn't going to help me out. Well, I was kind of expecting that. How about stone? That would be funny if you could put stone on him. Yeah, of course not. Okay. Put your shot. Just hit him normally. But at least he only hits physically, right? At least he only hits physically. I'm just going to eat another beat. You hit him again. Ah, yes. And that is why you always carry around beats. Frigid shot. Hit him again. And there he goes. Well, I wasn't expecting anything else. Should I try out wind? Let's try out wind. He blocks that. Okay, I'm going to eat another beat. Since here, there's a chance he might go for Berserker God again. Doesn't seem to be the case. Another fridge shot. Oh my god! Oh my freaking god! Eat another beat. Oh, this is going to be ridiculous. Oh man. Happy trigger. At least I can save some MP. Well, he, he is level 66. Right? He is level 66. It's kind of a giving that he, that he is strong, right? This is going to take a while. Ah! Gowardine as well! Well, there's no way I can block Gowardine. Compendium. Do I have somebody who's strong against wind? Yes. But I need some kind of weakness. He's probably weak to electricity since he uses wind attacks. So I need somebody who's, who knows wind and is strong against wind as well. Or rather, strong against physical hits. And who isn't actually that strong? Huh. That could technically work, but he's over 300. Aye. Okay, this is uh, this is actually a tricky requirement. A very tricky requirement. I 
And it only gets worse the more the higher level I am. Alright. I don't really have an idea right now. Uh even that guy! Even that guy is 10 HP too high! Wait a second. <gasps> that can work! That can work! Come back to me! Oh, I don't have room. Uh, wait. I need to kick somebody out, like... Let's see this. Who am I going to kick out? I mean, I can bring him along. I'm gonna kick you out for a while. Sorry, Angel. Then we are going to summon... My little beautiful thing over here. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Who was here for a second? There he is. Tetrakan. Summon. Next up, I still need somebody who can actually revive. So I'm going to take you along as well. And I still have. Oh my god, my party. Way too many demons. Okay, I need you. I guess I'm going to get rid of this guy. Super Kaja doesn't really help me out. So bye, my dude. Then I'm also going to... Oh my god, I clicked too fast. Then I'm also, also going to summon my Futut, uh, Futuna. Okay. I just need her to guard. And protect my life. So, you come here. The main guy comes here. You come here. And there might be a chance that this could actually work. <laughs> right? There is a chance this might actually work. Then I don't need to kill him on my own. And I have somebody who's actually able to revive me if things go sour. So let's do this again! This time around, I'm going to try out electricity. You hit him normally, you tetrakan, and you fang break. Alright. Those guys aren't really that fast. Okay, that could be a problem. That could be a serious problem. Oh yeah, okay. This might, this might not work. This might not work. Oh god damn it. Unless of course he focus on me. If he focus on me, that could still somehow work. Oh yes. Okay, with that I can work. Tetra Khan. Fake break again. Okay. Reflected. Cold strike, Tetra Khan again, Fang Break again. I need this to around minus three. There we go, my, my combo skill isn't going to work that much, but it's better than nothing, right? Better than nothing. Tetra Khan isn't going to work anymore. Aragion, Fang Break again. Okay, that works. So, next up, I'm going to hit you again with a bolt attack. Defend, another fake break. I'm just going to keep them around as fodder. <laughs> in case I need somebody to heal me again. Did I hit? No, I didn't. Another fake break. I'm just going to hope. I'm just going to hope he doesn't really have anything... Uh, like a Decarta skill. Okay. Just going to hope that's the case. Now you're going to focus up with uh, Ice Shots. Defend. Okay. Put your shots. Defend. Still alive. Still alive. Then I'm going to use another beat. Defend, defend. 
Okay, be friends. You actually survived that. Can hardly believe it. Gonna heal you up though. Never mind. Another frigid shot. Defend. Please don't kill her. Oh my freaking god. Okay. Frigid shot. You need to heal yourself up. Please don't attack her. Please don't attack Yes. Yes. Totally fine with this. Frigid shot. Defend. <laughs> oh my freaking god. Fortuna. <laughs> my Fortuna. Okay, I need I'm gonna I'm gonna eat a soma. You need to heal yourself up again. Please attack my guy. Yes. Perfect. Okay, next up I'm gonna use another fridge shot. Defend. My god. I survived! Okay, I can do this. I can totally do this. Heal yourself up again. Media RAM for both of them. Okay. Great. Next up, for the shot, defense. <laughs> oh my god. It's alright. I can do this. I can totally do this. The RAM on oh my guy. Okay. Should be enough, but I'm going to heal again. For the shot, the RAM. Great. One more time. Okay, my Fortuna is able to handle this. As long as it doesn't hit our physical hits. For the shot, the RAM yourself. Okay. Okay. So, he's already red. We're going to defend this turn. Great. Got the trigger, that's perfect for me. For the shot, you need to heal him up again. I need to get, or rather, I keep him over 250 at least. For the shot, defend again. Perfect. Another footage shot. This time around, media run. Yes! It is possible! It is possible! <laughs> it is somehow possible! This is a bit ridiculous because I can't use any of my demons, but it works! <laughs> I take that! I absolutely take that! My buff would die? No, I don't need that. Ah! Fortuna, you saved my life, girl. You saved my life. My god. Huh, thy strength is more than I expected. Should thou desire even more strength, open thou the door behind me and enter. This door can only be opened by one who had bested the trial of the three pillars. The last of the four divas awaits thou within. Ah, does it mean I can open it now? And I got a vest. Wait. What is this? Oh, that's a good vest. And I can only wear it because I'm chaos. Cool. But I think physical resistance might be better than gun resistance. Could be better than gun resistance. Anyway, first of all, <laughs> let me let me save that, okay? Let me actually save that. You hear a voice coming from somewhere. You, who has defeated the trio of the four divas, enter. Of course. You're not going to pick a fight right away, right? Let me just uh, open up the room and see what kind of requirements you have for me. I am Bishamonte, the last of the four divas. Thou hast done well in coming, you who defeated the three pillars. I would like to begin the final trial, but this trial can only be for one who would walk with us. Very well, the expression of thy spirit matches ours. Now I shall begin the trial. 
The condition I propose on thee is thy total level must be below 150. To change demons in the middle of battle is of course out of the question. Should thou win, I shall present you with the Kuikara blade to mark thou as one who hates best <laughs> who had bested our trial. Now, if thou accept this terms, let us fight. Of course I'm going to take this trial. I'm gonna get a blade from this. Then speaks thou again to me when thou art prepared. So 150 total. Does it mean my level included? Could be, right? Could be. Anyways, I have the perfect guy for this shop. Call this guy. <laughs> yes, Tetra Khan, Maka Khan, Luster Candy, Physical Resist, Gun Resist. Nothing what he throws at me is going to cause a problem for this guy. Uh, that would bring me around 110. That means. I could bring one more guy around level 40. But just in case, I'm going to try something out first. If he means actually my level as well, or just the demons. If it is just demons, I could still bring my Pella after all. But first of all, let me save one more time. Right in front of his face. <laughs> so, let's see. Does that count? Doesn't count. Okay, that means I can only use my panel in this fight. Okay, so it's me, the gas guy, and my panel girl. Let's do this. Good. I can see that total level is below 150. Let the battle begin. I, Bishopon, shall bear the witness to thy final trial. Of course. Question though, which kind of weakness do we have here? Probably ice, right? You are red though. I'm gonna buff myself up. Ice again. It blocks ice. Physical hits! Okay, okay. How about wind? I'm gonna use Tetra Khan this turn. Not wind. Okay, I can see where this is going. More Tetra Khan. Yeah, it's probably a battle against Tetra Khan users, huh? Looks to be the case. Chakra drop. Tetra Khan again. There's nothing you can do against my gas mask. Seriously. There's nothing you could technically do against that dude. Trigger happy! Oh, perfect! Okay, did I try that? I tried that. Okay, Storm Shot, Tetra Khan again. There we go. Herbs Blast. Now I'm going to use another one of my Chakra Drops, Tetra Khan. Okay, works perfectly. Another one of my chakra drops. More tetra card. Let's see. Great. Okay, this time around, storm shot. Tetra card again. Let's see. Pretty close. That should technically be the finishing touch, right? Ah, he swapped the skill. That's alright. Energy Drain. There we go. Not quite enough in order to actually use it again, but thanks to my, my beautiful Trigger Happy, he killed himself. So in comparison, in comparison to the other fights, this one was much easier. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh you don't really need that. So beach Oh dude! Fangs! Fangs! I really love beach chains! <laughs> well done. Thou hast bested me, a god of war. 
The trail of the four divas are at an end. But so long as thou lives, thine own trial shall never cease. I look forward to our next meeting. The X mission, the ever steep trial 4, has been completed. You received the Kuikara Blade. So, let me just uh, quickly see <laughs> what kind of blade that actually is. Kuikara Blade. Uh, is that good? One to four times, powerful sword, but with hits. Sounds strong. That is, if it actually hits. I mean, I could at least try it out for a while, right? And let's not forget, there's still the other trial. I have faith that you could, uh, I had faith that you could make it here. This time, we two together shall be your trial. As before, there are laws governing this match. The average level of your party must be below f Are you kidding me? The trial will be harsh. Make no mistake, but you shall gain even greater power. Will you take the trial? Of course. Then please come to me when you are ready. The average level should be. Uh, wait a second. I need to make the math here. If I bring this guy along. And then I'm just going to delete. Let me see. I'm gonna delete him for a second. If I bring along my weakest demon, like. Uh, oh god, I could summon the weakest one, would be your level 1. The pixie over there. Let's see. The weakest one I have currently beside of the pixie would be. Seven, five, five. Okay, five is the lowest. My current party has 58, 53, 52. So 58 plus 53 plus 52 plus five. We have 168, then 4, 42. Yes, that works. Great. Knocker, <laughs> knocker, my buddy. Where the heck are you? My beautiful, beautiful knocker. I never thought, I never thought I would be forced to do this. <laughs> okay, knocker. This might be random. You were an innocent little demon. In the, in the middle of Anahil or something, or Antlia, yeah? And suddenly, you're summoned <laughs> into the most dangerous battle of your life. <laughs> so, uh, I hope you're ready, Noka. I seriously hope you're ready. Because I'm only able to do this fight with you around. But technically speaking, I could also summon the pixie. But why would I? <laughs> so, let's do this. Yes, I see that your average level is within the limits. Then we shall begin the trial. I think if I didn't brought him along, it wouldn't have worked. <laughs> I had to bring the knocker, okay? I need him in order to push down the average level. <laughs> so, I forgot the weakness. Let's try electric. I'm going to block physical hits for now. But so I can hit the left guy. Bufu, I guess. Okay, that's blocked. That is blocked. We have a weakness. Okay, the right guy has to go first. From the looks of it, at least. So another bolt spray, another tetra card. We're going to hit the right guy and bufu the right guy. There we go. The circle got. Well, I don't think the knocker is actually going to do anything. Since, uh, technically speaking, he's only level 5. But, uh, he can still do stuff. 
a little bit of stuff, right? See that? Technically speaking, you can do stuff. Another board spray, another Tetra Khan, another one of those Berserker Thrusts, and more Bufu. Actually, I could also try out to figure out if the left guy has an ice weakness. Might be a chance after all. Nah, it's not ice. <sighs> oh my god! Yeah, I need to use a beat chain this turn around. I might want to buff myself up with Luster Candy. And Bufu again. Physical hits should be fine, right? Oh! Oh, you go that way, huh? You go that way. Well. This might be a problem. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much dead. So, okay. Okay, I have an idea. I'm going to use Storm Shot. Last second you want. Garudine. It normally. Technically speaking, that should do a lot of damage, right? Yes. So. I noticed that they are tending to go for the same skill every time I load my save file, which means there's a high chance he might go for the Theodine skill on my character now. So I'm going to protect against that. Okay, it works. Great. I think this time around it's safe to go for another Luster Candy, another Garudan skill. Hit him again. Number one. Luster Candy. Number two. Okay. There goes my, my knocker, but we don't really need him right now. I'm going to use a Chakra Drop. Protect against another Seo skill. More Garudine for the left guy. That technically do the trick? He's not using it. Okay. Okay. Technically speaking, I think I want to keep it up in order to protect, uh, to protect against the light skill. And as long as I keep the right guy in high health, I shouldn't start spamming his physical hits, right? But he is increasing the defenses. Which I can't have. Do I have a Descartes skill? Let's see. I have a Dekunda skill, but nothing against that. Well, that is too bad. Oh well, Storm Shots. Can use it twice. Garudine. I need to protect against the Judgment Light. Or else uh, some of my demons might disappear from this. My freaking gods! <laughs> the Judgment Light almost killed my character. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm need... I need to heal. And I also need to recover. I'm gonna go for Luster Candy. Garudine. I'm just going to hope he's not going to go for... Yes. Why are you charging already? Are you crazy? Uh, Storm Shots. Tetra Khan. Actually, bad idea. I'm going to try out a Chakra Drop on you. You don't need to block that physical hit now. Garudine for the left guy. We need to block the physical hits, or else I'm going to have some serious problems around here. So, next up, I need to block the magical hits. Or else I'm going to have some more serious problems around here. My freaking gods! Are they going to use magical and physical hits from now on? Like in succession? Chaka Trop, Tetra Khan, Garudine. Let's see. 
Oh, you have a heal skill as well, right. I forgot about that. But I don't really like that. So next up, I'm going to use a bolt shot. A Kagan for safety reasons, because my Kagan is actually kind of strong. I'm not going to allow you to do that. There we go. So, next up, this dude. This dude. You have an electric weakness. But I need to heal up my, my dude as well. How many do I have? Three. I'm going to protect against that and Berserker God. Since there is a chance he might use his scowl skill, he's not using his scowl skill. Okay then. Electric Spray, Energy Drain, Berserker God. Number one. Now he uses it. Oh, you crazy dude. Bolt Spray, Makagan, Berserker God. There we go. There we go. Great. Yes, just just use your charge skill. Totally agree, you should always use your charge skill. Berserker God, please. There we go. Back at ya. Now we have Blitzkrieg. That means I'm going to use Bolt, Mecha Gun, Berserker God. Actually, I'm going to play it safe. Mecha Gun, Berserker God, like this. Just in case. Just in case he tries to go for another charge skill and he actually dies. Okay. Level 60 now. Harold Anil can now be created for fusion, as well as Caspiel. My gods. Ah, there they go. Uh, you don't really need that. Chakra drop. Ah, oh, thanks, bro. <laughs> Dear Ram. Ah, no, no, you don't need that either. So. That dude got a few level ups. Don't need Marzio. Don't need that. And done. Ugh, such strength! It appears to be generous. That, uh, that we too could not be, or rather that we too could be defeated by a son of man, no less. We yield to you. The X mission before the Holy Battle 3 has been completed. You receive the cleric rope. We have waited for someone to grow so strong that we expect that your spirit would emulate more closely to the Holy Spirit. However, the conditions of your spirit prevents you from earning the right to become a holy one. I had hoped that you would awaken to the Holy Spirit, but this is most unfortunate. Please leave. Huh? Oh, right, right. Uh, that, that, that guy over there also said something about uh, having the same alignment, right? <laughs> I guess if I was holy or rather law oriented, you probably gave me the right to open the store, huh? Well, too bad for you, Angel. I don't plan to change my alignment just yet, so uh, wait until I get to the ending, okay? Then I'm coming back. For that quest. So, I got all the materials. How's the search? Everything going smoothly? Of course. Remember, I want a new heal and a new stone. Hand over the items? Of course. Oh my god, the new stones. Uh, I thought, I thought I remembered that there was an Anubis monster somewhere in Eridanos. But it turns out there are like two locations on the second floor that had those stones. <laughs> oh my god, that had those stones. And if you don't find those locations, well, you are kind of screwed. Anyways, now that I have the stones, I think it's about time that this guy starts to work. Because, uh, yeah, it takes a while for him to actually complete the weapon. So, uh, 
This is going to take a long, long time again, right? You're good at this boy. Uh, good, you're good at this boy. I'll make you a mighty fine weapon. It will take me some time. Mind waiting until it's done? Of course. Ah, ye. Forge, forge, forge too. I wonder, is there going to be a forge, forge, forge free mission? Because there's a high chance that there might be. Also, since I'm level 16 now, or rather 60, I'm just going to quickly grab a Titania and I meet you guys back at the fairy village. So, I got them both. So, did you bring Oberon and Titania? Of course I did. Here you go. Actually, Titania was very easy. Only one try and I already had her. In comparison to Silky and the other guy, that was absolutely nothing. Now then. Thank you so much. I will have Goblin show them around. This way, please. Oh, quite a lovely village we have here. Dear Ray, I so enjoy our journey together. Fare thee well. Bye, Titania. Even though it was only a short while. <laughs> now then. My dream of a fairy village has finally come true. Thank you. Without you, this village would never have been established. You helped me make a home for us. We'll welcome you here anytime. The exhibition, Fairyland Establishment Number 5, has been completed. You receive a Critica as a reward. So, what was that exactly? Critica, right? Um, not really sure if that's good. But was it really the last quest? Oh, it's you! Welcome to the fairy village! I've been able to meet a lot of different fairies as a result of this town. It's all thanks to you. I really appreciate it. Okay. Now I can actually talk to them. But something seems to be preventing him from digging deeper. What will you do? I'm gonna watch. Mm -hmm. Can you do it? Oh, lucky me, I found something! Good for you, little guy. Hard work sure pays off. Alright, I'm gonna dig and dig. Dig some more. What a cute little guy. And I think that was the guy who was helping me um, changing my alignment if I were to answer his question. <laughs> a little bit more, um, like, give me, give me the item and don't help him dig, you know? <laughs> so, this is a very large town. Which makes it all more delightful. But whenever I see something all neat and proper, I have the urge to put out of joint again. City me. I must say it's really nice to see that they are so busy around this town. I'm going to start building my he home here. I want to decorate it all in white. Cute. Is Pyrotech over here? I'm going to become this villager's he tour guide. Oh. I'll spread the word about this great village. Hee ho. That's good to know. So let me see. I wonder where the queen is. That's the other girl? Well, if it isn't Ray, have you been well? This isn't a bad little village. I could that I could be very comfortable here. I have a very a varied repertoire of spells. So I'll be protecting this village from the rear. Great. So the Springer is the front guard, and she's the rear guard. So where do we have... Ah, Oberon. Ah yes, the human. I have heard some say you, play, uh, you played a central role in this village founding. In praise of your work, you shall receive our kingdom's traditional armor. You have done well, very well. Ooh, fairy armor. Great. A Titania? What a wonderful place! No conflict, only peace. I am ever so glad you brought me here, that I might see it. Glad that you guys like it. So, you also gave me some type of armor, so let me see that really quickly. Ooh. No darkness, strong against wind. Gives me a seal weakness though, and reduces my... Rather, removes my physical resistance. Which I kind of like to have. Oh yeah, drain seal? But I can't really equip that one. Huh, 
I must say, now that I did a few quests, I have some very, very useful options around. But I think for now, we're just going to head over. Or rather, I'm going to. I <laughs> rather, I'm going to end the part here. In the next part, since the, the draft guy is still forging my weapon, I'm going to start exploring the room of grief again, since there's still a lot for us to do over there before I actually decide uh, which type of route we're going to take, right? Since everything I do right now, I don't need to repeat later. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye!